this is the motorbike, am I correct? It is. I think the motorbike costs $2,700, is that correct? It is. And you claim that the defendant agreed to repay you over a period of time and that he failed to do that and actually owes you at this point in time $850. Yes. And you're Mr. Bustamante, you don't deny that you agreed to pay him back, but you claim that during the time that you were supposed to pay him back, you were attacked and stabbed and shot. Really a, a tragic incident. I've seen the photographs. Are you well now? Uh, I'm, I'm doing better. Confident you can fight your case? Yes. Good. Now, you claim that during the time that you were recovering, your mother agreed to pick up the payments for you. Yes, uh, they, they came up with an arrangement. An arrangement. Is that correct? It's not exactly an arrangement. She just decided to start paying right after his accident and made a few How payments. much was owed <clears throat> at the time of his accident? $2,400 total. And how much did she pay? I believe the five payments totaled 1050 And so your mathematics brings it to an $850 balance. Yeah, the notes that I had kept during the time frame, they weren't as accurate as they could be. Obviously, I would have never expected to be in a position like this. But in the end, the final amount that I could come up with... So you're rounding it out. You're willing to accept $850 as correct. the final payment. But you claim, sir, that your mother paid it all off. You don't owe him anything. None at all. And you claim that if there is an issue, that he should seek recourse against your mother. They came up with their whole... Um, you don't uh, think, even though your mother bailed you out or tried to help you at a time of need, that you don't have an obligation to pay your uncle, assuming that you agree that there is a balance due? I do not agree there's a balance due. Did you agree with the defendant's mother to substitute her completely for the debt? Absolutely not. I actually tried to tell her that due to the circumstances and he was injured, you know, obviously we were going to be a little bit lenient. Now, we hadn't seen any payments for months up until this point, but obviously the circumstances were what they were. And I just told her at the time, actually I'd prefer if she didn't make the payments so that he could... Uh, take care of his own responsibility. What do you do for a living, sir? I'm a maintenance supervisor. And you, sir? What What do you do for a living? I'm in the union. What yeah. kind of work? Uh, I'm a abatement, a foreman, so like uh, asbestos removal, lead removal, anything hazardous removal. And you're employed by a particular firm? Uh, yes. And you do that work now? Yes. How do you get along with your mother? Great. She's not here, though, today? No. She's not here to say, yeah, I paid this all off for my son. Now, I understand what happened here. You felt that your uncle should have been more understanding, especially given what happened to you. And perhaps you might have been less businesslike with respect to the loan at some point. But you're absolutely right, I think, that the responsibility was always yours. But we'll resolve this for both of you. And I think it's not just simply a matter of mathematics. Yes. Judge Tawalda? In your answer... Mr. Bustamante, you say, while I was recovering, my mom took over the dirt bike payments for me. How long was your recovery period? Uh, I was out for about six months. Any plan to take over those payments once you recovered? Uh, no, so there, there was a little bit more. It was the accident, and then there was a little bit of drama going, like phone tag. It was kind of causing f problems in the family. So when my mom stepped in, the arrangement that I was told is that they arranged for her to take over the payments and the loan so that there wasn't no more drama pretty much between me and him. And you were told this by your mother? Yes, and him at the time, that they came up with an arrangement. You're that, saying that you had a conversation with him yes. about this? And you're saying you didn't we have this did conversation? We did have a conversation, but not exactly as he's saying, because okay. like I'd stated before, I actually told her that I would have preferred she didn't make the payments. Which but, is surprising, because I mean, that means you probably would have gone months without any money. Yes, but under the circumstances, he was shot and stabbed. Mm -hmm. I mean, he definitely was going to need to have some time to recover. Realistically, I mean, I figured he needed to handle his own responsibility. Okay, so where's your mom? Uh, she's still in Oregon. Why, why is she not here? I'd love to exactly. talk to her. Exactly. I, I, I kind of felt like it, it, she should have been in my position uh, if he wanted to get... Oh, you think he should have sued your mother? <laughs>